every aspect in ayurved is completely subjective we don't have general rules that apply to every person brahma murta is a time which is almost 45 minutes before sunrise so before sunrise is the time when the uh, you know it's the best time to actually attain brahma so brahma means the ultimate knowledge of the universe so brahma murta is considered to be the time which is the best for studies which is the best for doing something creative in your life so mental disorders are termed as manasa rog in ayurved and there is a whole chapter that explains why manasa rog occur in first place so you need to have a knowledge of yourself first so the education has to begin from childhood you have to uh, know what your purpose is in life because our lives are majorly i think they revolve around just finishing the task which is being given to you you know and somehow leading the life somehow just pushing life while the ayurvedic scriptures talk about understanding your purposes because once you understand the purposes every act of yours every thought of yours would be in line with your purpose which means that you are already leading a productive life since your childhood ever since you were born ever since you actually started understanding things because you've actually gained the knowledge from your past birth and when you are born in the mother's womb you already have the knowledge of atma and mana but then there is a curtain of maya over you which uh, after you're born it takes over and the maya actually gives you an illusion that you don't know anything at all so and the entire society around you will keep you know uh, kind of teaching you what you're supposed to do when a child actually knows more than adults what what it is supposed to do but then the society kills all that creativity society kills all that knowledge and uh, then we have these puppets being produced all the time so mana manasa gyan is all about knowing the true purpose and parents who would know this you know there are chances that they will bring up or nurture a better child who will be in line with his purpose who will know what he is supposed to do the moment there is a curtain of maya on this knowledge when this knowledge does not exist for you so even the fact that you realize that you have these vikaras is you know it's it's like realizing what you are supposed to work on but if you don't know what you are supposed to work on in first place then i think we have a problem here and then there are more chances of uh, you being inflicted with manovikaras so the first thing that ayurved tells us is to get the knowledge of self get the knowledge of your body your mind and your surroundings understand the universe better because whatever goes on in the cosmos goes on inside you so when you see yourself as a tiny drop in the entire ocean the self centeredness would somewhere go away and that itself would be an answer to you know uh, treating manovikaras so you made a very interesting point on eating incompatible foods so are there any popular foods or preparations that you know that's very popularly consumed that is uh, not ideal as per ayurveda if you want to see uh, what incompatible foods are like you have to just visit a restaurant mumbai <laughs> and you will you will see everything that you're not supposed to eat you'll see all the additives added which are not really good for your health now organic food is uh, different from natural food so natural food is that which is which has completely grown naturally you've not really aided in the harvesting or uh, you've not you're not involved completely in the growing of that food so uh, organic food is where all organic entities are used everything from the manure everything that you use the soil everything is treated with organic agents even today when you go to old hindu temples you know whether it is jagannath puri or brihadeshwara temple or in sri rangam you will see that the temple prasada which is served to the devotees because they still maintain the old style of cooking right they have not adopted all these new uh, spices that have come from outside it still has pepper and it's still not as spicy as you know we are used to and the consumption of spices really destroys your palate as well at a taste level because you don't experience the taste the natural taste of the food 
So I I mean what is ayurvedic take on eating spicy food many people uh, you know who are rediscovering ayurveda also try to look at it in isolation as just a science divorcing it from yoga the philosophical the spiritual aspects you know which it's deeply intertwined with hinduism and hindu philosophy so what do you think about that can do you think it can be just isolated as a science away from the rest of the stuff ayurved is an instrument okay to understand more what goes on inside your bodies so it is an instrument to assess where you stand in life when it comes to your health and yoga if i have to say very precisely is the instrument to understand what is happening at the atma level or the atmic level so ayurved and yoga are again different instruments to understand what goes on intrinsically disconnected from the folklore remedies and home remedies uh everything that you get in the market under the name of ayurved i'm sorry that is not ayurved at all so if you're using certain herbs which are used in ayurvedic uh, treatments if you're using those to prepare cosmetics or uh, wellness products you cannot call them ayurvedic so anything that's ayurvedic uh, has to have all the parameters which are mentioned uh, in our text so only then can you call it uh, uh, ayurvedic otherwise it's merely herbal and herbal and ayurvedic are two different entities again ayurved has its own set of principles and if you're following those principles when you're preparing something anything that is mentioned in the classics only that can be labeled as ayurvedic so i think our people need to understand this because i see on social media as well uh, i run my twitter account and when i am trying to defend my science sometimes you know uh, some people would come and completely defeat defeat the purpose by you know saying unscientific things i know that they love ayurveda i know that they are uh, really respective of the indic uh, sciences but they really need to know how to defend their science even at the society level people need to understand this it's not just the doctor show so once this is understood i think nobody can come close to us and uh, we can give back to ayurved what ayurved has given to us